According to the European Commission and the European Environment Agency, since 1998, Europe has suffered over 200 major damaging floods. They caused more than 1,100 deaths, the displacement of more than a million people, and at least $52 billion in economic losses. This trend will probably continue to rise, as floods are expected to become more frequent and severe in the future. With our EU-funded lifelong learning project ZECOM 2.0, we are supporting students and experts in the field of flood risk management. We encourage playful collaboration that brings practice closer to the student and provides experts with the latest knowledge from university. Wir sind diejenigen, die seinerzeit den Antrag bei der EU-Kommission gestellt haben haben uns unsere Partner aus dem Bereich des universitären Umfeldes und aus der Praxis geholt und arbeiten mit diesen Leuten jetzt quasi auf der gleichen Augenhöhe im Projekt zusammen. Das Hochwasserkompetenzzentrum im Projekt SECOM erarbeitet die Grundlagen des Szenarios, was gespielt wird, in welcher Form es gespielt wird und bringt natürlich den fachlichen Hintergrund, damit eben dieses Spiel, um Katastrophen zu verhindern, auch eben fachgerecht für die Universität aufbereitet wird. Wir sind im Projekt SECOM Flood Management Lifelong Learning zuständig für die Komponente des Serious Game Parts. Das heißt, wir entwickeln Spiele, die in Automotive-Bereich, im Healthcare-Bereich, im Simulationsbereich umgesetzt werden, um hier spielerisch Erfahrungen zu vermitteln, Learning by Doing Ansatz. Das Institut für Wasserbau und Ingenieurhydrologie der TU Wien hat im Projekt SECOM die hydrologisch-wasserwirtschaftlichen Themen bearbeitet. Das heißt, Überlegung zu welchen Szenarien äh, anwendbar sind für Evakuierungsmaßnahmen oder für Erhöhung von Schutzmaßnahmen im Hochwassergebiet. METID in questo progetto ha avuto il ruolo di progettare la eh, metodologia didattica e eh, di creare e sviluppare la piattaforma di e-learning e di collaboration hub di tutti gli elementi del progetto. The integration of a learning and a gaming platform makes lifelong learning very attractive to the targeted groups. The learning component of SACOM 2.0 includes learning resources, self-assessments and ready-to-use virtual classrooms. Here formal, non-formal and informal learning takes place. The playing component is a web-based serious game, which can be played in single or multiplayer mode. Students and experts take on the task of defending a city against an oncoming flood wave. By using the scenario editor, everyone can easily extend the game and build more exciting levels. The first tests with students showed how this tool can make learning really fun. Using the inbuilt web conferencing tool, experts, teachers and students can work together easily, sharing flood-related knowledge by uploading documents or using the discussion forum. Ein ganz wichtiger Aspekt hier ist der Informationsaustausch und Knowledge Sharing zwischen unseren Studenten und Wasserexperten aus der Praxis. Mit dem Spiel und Kollaborationsplattform sammeln unsere Studenten viele Erfahrung, Arbeit unter Zeitdruck und wie man Entscheidungen treffen kann und damit kann man auf den Markt einsteigen. To disseminate this high quality product to interested associations, organizations and individuals, we have presented it at several exhibitions and conferences. At the Hochwassertage in Cologne 2013, 
one of the many events where SECOM 2.0 has been presented, flooding experts were excited about the possibilities the product offers. The team also hosted SECOM 2.0 events for students and experts at the University of Vienna. SECOM 2.0 has also been presented many times at national and international conferences. Should we have aroused your interest, feel free to contact us. A corresponding contact form can be found on our website. We are looking forward to welcoming you as a new user of this free platform.